I'm Highlander. Welcome to the X Stream. This is Subnautica, episode 14, and we are discovering the Alien Diseased Research Center. Um, if you remember from the uh, the second episode, it explained the different buildings, the alien buildings that we need to find. We found the enforcement platform. Okay, uh, there's the name of it, and remember to bring your purple tablet. We gotta drop a uh, force field, and those purple tablets have been known for uh, dropping force fields. And so we're gonna find out a lot more about the Kara disease with this. Um, I really like the architecture. I like the uh, the blacks and deep greens. It kind of reminds me of of Alien, the first movie, um, of the Nostromo. Um, but yeah, okay. So we got that, and uh, behind us, behind the sea moth, there's another area that we're going to explore it's going to have another uh, terminal and uh, so we can learn more stuff so basically what I'm getting is that uh, the aliens who built this was trying to find some type of a cure for the Kara disease because it wiped out like billions and billions of their people and uh, and so of course you know they had to build the enforcement platform because if anybody leaves this world with that Kara disease it's just so devastating that uh, yeah um, very ruthless but uh, I guess you can understand why here's the second data terminal and this is the one I think that explains more about the Kara disease. Kara contagion profile. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot to scan in here. Um, the artwork is nice, walking or, or swimming around, I guess. Uh, now um, they suggested that we take a scan of ourselves, so. Yeah, it's affecting us. We're definitely on a time limit. So yeah, another piece of the puzzle has been solved. All right, time to head out. Uh, we got everything we need here. Um, on the other side of the Lost River is the laboratory uh, cache. And in it, one of the coolest things is a uh, cuttlefish. So yeah, one of the cuttlefish is there. Okay, so um, swimming around in the prawn suit is a lot safer than the sea moth. It's not as fast, but uh, but the prawn suit was fun. Um, the uh, I wish I didn't cut some of the video um, that I had. Uh, I was kind of like bullfighting with this uh, the Leviathan down here, the the um, the big mean fish, <laughs> the Reaper. Okay, so basically. Um, the Reaper was coming at me, and then I would use the uh, the grappling hook, and, to, and I'd attach it to a, either a wall or the floor, and just before it it uh, it got to me, yeah, I would shoot it out like that, and then I would, you know, move out of the way, and it would run into the wall. And uh, after a while, it kind of got bored with me. It went out there, it got frustrated, started spinning circles, and forgot where I was. Um, for the most part, I try and avoid them, because they can really you know mess up your stuff but uh, 
Yeah, it's a long walk. It's uh, on the other side, completely on the other side. Yeah, you know you're getting close when you get into the, where you can see the rib cage of this huge uh, dead creature. And when you get to the head, you have to go above another falls and then uh, you can go either kind of straight left or uh, take a veer to the right. And if you veer to the right, that's where we're going to go. Okay, there's the head. So it's right up right up above that in the, in the distance. Now we're just going to try and sneak by uh, traveling through the poisonous river. You can see the falls through the through the river. Just barely have enough power to get up here. And there it is. This time. We didn't get we didn't move out of the way, but <laughs> we kind of out of energy and out of power but yeah now we're going down the uh, this hallway after we uh, we elevate above those waterfalls now you see to the straight there that goes out uh, out of the caverns but we're gonna go to the right like that and then you should see you can barely see the head now and there it is. So basically, this is where the library cache is. And if you were to go to the up and right of where we are, um, you could actually leave that way. But you can bring down the sub, your uh, Cyclops right there, into this cavern. After you come in, it's to the upper, um, up and left. And there's the, uh, there it is. Remember your orange tablet. Get a little bit more information. Uh, it just says that the aliens had a really good handle on the uh, how the ecosystem worked and uh, and we get our cuttlefish. There it is. The most important thing. Fauna um, reproductive data. Yeah, not a whole lot in here. You got pretty much everything. That's pretty much it. Okay, uh, you want to get the uh, Cyclops thermal reactor module. Um, there's where it is, and then uh, I shoot a compass reading uh, right there, the floater, 560. Um, so basically, you want to take that before you go down into the, uh, the lava zone. Um, I didn't. Uh, I really wish I did um, because uh, the Cyclops can repair or can uh, recharge its batteries with uh, enough heat around it. 
and it's really hot down there so you really don't ever run out of power but uh, when I'm coming down there I don't have this and I'm taking all the energy with me now okay we go back to the triple falls right there right next to our base and then you can see the crystal tree coming up um, we just passed it right there in this shot um, get a good look at it and then we're going to descend uh, we're just kind of keep going around in a circle we're gonna uh, keep turning left uh, along the right wall and uh, and we're just gonna keep going down and down and down and uh, right now there's a lot of light but uh, in the near future it's gonna get so black we can't see anything and we have to go to to sonar Now the problem with, uh, we come down here, um, all the energy I have is in my batteries and I have no way to recharge them. So um, if they get too low, there's no way for me to get out. Um, so this would be a one, -way, a one way trip. And we have these fishes that are like leeches. I forgot what they're actually called, but uh, they attach to your, uh, to your sub and they suck the battery powder. <laughs> battery power out of it and uh, and so my priority is to get down here and create a base so I can uh, generate um, so I can recharge my batteries that's uh, that's my priority and as we come down here as soon as it opens up uh, is pretty much uh, where we where I start my base now I'm what I'm doing now is I'm running back to the back so I can pull all the batteries on this side um, to make sure that uh, that I don't lose all my um, all my power and then I need to cut off the uh, the leeches now I didn't know this at the time but from what I hear uh, if you hit your shield generator they'll come off and uh, and there you go. There they are. Uh, on the left side, I got them circled, um, and I have to go out there and cut them off. Highlander, have a great day.